I'm gonna take my beautiful oxtail that I rinsed, pat it dried a little bit. And when you're buying oxtail, you wanna get a really good combination of really big pieces. I like the little ones because they're cute, they're super succulent, lots of fat on that little bone, and just daintier if you're not trying to, you know, girl handle this big one here. So I've got one of my favorite new pots. I'll tell you why I love this pot when I rest these oxtails. But I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil, enough to just start browning my oxtail. I'm gonna gently assemble my oxtail in here, get all these little bones in here, super cute. I'm gonna go in here with salt. You can play around with your salts. I love smoked garlic salt. In fact, Leah has a cute little space around the register where she's got a whole bunch of different salts. She's got garlic salt. She actually has some truffle salt. Sprinkling it with black pepper. While that's happening, I'm gonna take my onion and just do a quick, long slices. And of course, here goes that garlic. You can use that garlic press, you can use your knife, you can use a paper bag. That was a trick that I learned early on. My mom would take brown paper bag from the grocery store and she would use it to mash garlic. So I'm gonna get my onions going, my garlic, and all I'm doing is getting my garlic to be a nice little toasty color, but I want my onions to be a little translucent, but not all the way, because once they finish cooking in this pot, they are gonna be so delicious, so sweet. I'm gonna now hit it with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. You know, when we do a lot of comfort cooking, a lot of my recipes have a tomato base sauce. So I wanted to add a little bit of tomato paste in here, just to kind of remember, you know, bring that comfort factor in here, but also just to kind of give my oxtail some color later on. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white pepper, even though my oxo has some black pepper, I want more flavor in there because this is all about Caribbean flavors and how I like things. A little spicy, not too much. You've probably heard me say I don't like heat too much because this girl's palate can't handle all that spice. And you know what's so funny? People, my, a lot of my friends are like, B, you're Cuban, you're from the Caribbean. How do you not like spicy food? And I'm like, yeah, no. I was raised in DC. I was introduced to a lot of American foods really early on. Maybe left that back in Cuba. Of course, I've got some oregano. I've got a little bit of garlic salt. And here we go. Here's my favorite one today. My favorite one today is that comino. Do y'all see this beautiful sauce that's building here? This is simple, super simple. So my beautiful oxtail, my succulent rabo is back in that pot. It's bubbling just where I want it to go. 